All right, hello. I'm Joe. I'll be doing this run for this epic meme game. <laughs> basically ready whenever we get to go. Yeah, sure. Uh, three, two, one, go. Oh, did you click out? It's fine. fine. Alright. Thanks. So yeah, this is an epic meme game that was, um, I don't remember who, who exactly the developer is, but like, Nis America localized it. Um, basically it's like just a, like, kind of indie horror game. You're this, like, young girl just walking her dog, you know, just minding your own business, and then, like, epic stuff happens pretty soon. So right now it's just, like, basic tutorial stuff, just teaching you, like, the controls, all that garbage. So we're gonna walk the dog over here. It's, it's, it's just telling you some stuff about, like, how the item system in this game works. So we'll go over here. Pick that up. And then throw it. <laughs> Not bad. So yeah, that's like shit like that. Stuff like that is like most of this game. Um so your dog got hit by a truck and it kinda like fell off the highway and the main character kinda like freaks out and then tries to go look for the dog over the edge. And then just kind of gives up and uh, goes back home, which it takes a while because this cutscene is unskippable. I'm also just playing in Japanese just because the text is like severely faster than if you were going to play in English. That's really the only reason. Like the game's not really text heavy once you know the route, so it's like pretty easy to pick up. If you're like learning this run, and basically the, the character's talking to her sister, and the sister's asking like, "Where's the dog?" And the main character doesn't really answer, so the sister kind of just gets fed up and is like, "Okay, I'm gonna go look for the dog on my own." So then you just kind of wait here until nightfall, and your sister still isn't back, so you decide that you're gonna go out and look yourself for both of them. So basically, I'm just gonna hug this wall here. I want that coin. Coins, it, it's basically like a 10 yen coin. It basically lets you use shrines, which are more or less like the safety, the quick save feature of this game. And also, they let you warp to other shrines, which is pretty important in a couple... Like, you have to warp between shrines or like death warp in a couple of cases. I wanna go up here. an epic jump scare. Uh, I love jump scares. You notice on the bottom like there's this like kind of stamina bar that's like glowing. When enemies are close to you, like running takes a lot more stamina. And you don't want the run gauge to fall into yellow just because you, you run a lot slower. I don't know like the exact numbers but you definitely like run slower. So you want to stay above that like first dot for the run. I want to go this way. The, honestly, the really hard thing with this game is like actually remembering the route because like it's really easy to get lost in the uh, roads if you don't know where you're going. So we'll just head over here. And it looks like you found your sister. I don't remember the exact dialogue here, but she basically ends up telling you to like hide in this bush. So you go and you prompt it to hide in the bush and you wait. This is all just a little scroller. Some stuff happens outside and your sister is suddenly gone. And that's not really good, so... You decide to keep going. Just prompting you like about like how maps in this game work. We'll never use the map, really, so... But you, ha you have to actually open the map there to proceed, like the game won't advance unless you open the map. And there we picked up the flashlight, which is pretty important. 
the flashlight took like most enemies in this game. So it's a very important item to have. So we'll just keep walking a bit. A world record, I, I am pretty sure, is still by me at like 49 minutes. It's 49 something, I forget. Um, Susan Rebacco, like did a run on the Vita version, which was pretty good. But then the PC port came out, which was just much faster, just straight up because of the loading times. Although there is like one, like, um, kind of cool, like, glitch that you could do in the Vita version. At least in his run, he did on the Vita version that I don't think you could do in the Steam port. I mean, you need to pick that up. So right now the game's just gonna explain to you what shrines are. They basically let you quick save and warp between shrines. That's really all they do. So I do want to save there because it's used later near the end of the game. And you can only warp to shrines that you've activated, and to activate the shrine you have to use a coin on it. Just checking these bags for coins. The items in there are random, you, you want coins in there, but I got unlucky and I just got rocks, which are garbage. I want to save there, because I'll be using that as well. Can you refocus the window? It's fine. And that's basically the first chapter, so it's like just a tutorial, more or less. And that's just a save screen to save between chapters, which I'm going to do because there's a very likely chance that this will crash. I'm hoping it doesn't, but um, luck has not been on my side today. Next, we're going to basically like e e when each chapter starts, it gives you like some like diary screen that you saw, which like tells you like what the character wants to do in that chapter. So in this chapter, I believe like she's going out to look for the sister, and and she decides like to start looking at the nearby school, which is what this chapter is all about. But she as she goes to the school, she sees that dog, and she thinks maybe it's the dog that got lost on the highway. Although its head looks kind of weird. And this game also has like kind of dumb design like that. Like when you cross certain like lines, like the descriptive events for like enemies to discharge you. And if you don't like jump up in advance, you're you're most likely just get hit by them, and that's just like instant death, and you have to go back to the last save point. And it's really obnoxious and bad design, honestly. I, I don't, I honestly don't know. I mean, most encounters with those enemies, like, they, the game makes them look really scary, but they move pretty slow, so if you just, like, know where they're gonna spawn, and just like move around them will be fun. Um, this is a signboard that just basically tells you some information about a secret passage, and you need to read that because there is a secret passage over here that we need to use to get into the school. So what I'm going to do now is just walk down this way. You want to save right here because we're going to need to death warp to it a few times very soon. So basically like normally casually you're supposed to like just walk around the school and like eventually figure out what you're supposed to do. So she, the character walks up here and sees like that's her sister's shoe. So she's like, oh, maybe my sister is out here somewhere. Like, she gets attacked by this weird dog, which is clearly not the dog from the beginning of the game. So 
so she gets scared and just hides in this bush for a while. This is scripted too. Like she'll she'll automatically move out of the bush on her own. So just gotta wait for a little bit. I think you can move out of there early, and if you do, you die. I don't remember. It might just keep you from, like forced to hide, but I, I think you can get out early and just get killed. Okay. So she's just kind of looking around and being like, oh, what the heck was that? And then she just like forgets about it, which is really epic. So the first thing you, you have to do is walk up this path. And you want to hug this edge. A couple enemies here, just wait. And you'll get a chicken coop key right here, and then you just turn around a bunch of and kill you. And then we warp back here, which is really nice, because then you just walk down here, which is much faster than going back all the way. And she sees the shoe again, and then the dog just kind of runs off with it, which is really epic. You want to go up here now, because you have the key. Just hug the edge here because there's an enemy right there. And then you just run up. What you want to do is go in the chicken coop and get this key. And this key lets you go into the school's swimming pool. So I'm gonna do the same thing before. I'm gonna run down here and I'm gonna have him kill me. that you can work back there and then you just run this way which is much faster and the dog will like try to kill you too which is great you have to run back or else he'll just like instantly kill you so this chapter is almost done we got to go into the school swimming pool and we have to drain it if I could like click on the door I'm hitting the wrong key shit's RNG, like, I want these to not block me from going into the... I'm not really getting... Well, I'll just bait him out, I guess, that's fine. I didn't want him to do that, but, like, the spawns here at random and can, like, fuck you over, uh, screw you over. So you get to, like, this pumping machine, you just want to drain the pool. Then you can go into the pool, and there's these weird like fish enemies. They don't hurt you, I don't think. You can just like walk around them. But what you do have to do is look into this drain here, and there's a bone in the drain that you take out, and then put that and then kill you. So you can walk back to the shrine again. And we're nearly done with this chapter at this point. I think the dog does attack you again. Yeah. I like a lunge at you three times and then and then he'll run away like every time. So you go up here and you place the bone in this desk. And the reason is the shoe is like behind like, the shoe is through that gate, but if you just try to walk through the dog, like, attacks you and doesn't let you through. So use a bone to distract him and get through. So the dog just takes the bone and kind of runs off. the end of that chapter, so that went like okay, honestly. I'll just save again. So this, the, the game's in English, I'm, I'm, I'm just playing in Japanese because the, the text is much faster, okay. like compared to English. Sorry. But yeah, the, the version on Steam right now in America, you can play in English or in Japanese. What? 
I thought, I mean, I, I'm running it right now. I mean, I, I, I think I think it's, like, okay. Like, as a casual game, it's fine. Like, if, if you don't like cheap games that just, like, will, like, one-shot kill you, then I wouldn't recommend it, no. But, I mean, beyond that, it's like a, it's like a decent horror game. It's not great, but it's, it's fun. So, yeah, so right now... Oh, I did not want to go that way. Right now, we're going to the rice fields in the north to once again look for the missing dog and sister. And if I remember the route, this won't be bad. And I think, yeah, this is right, as long as I don't die. You want to just hug this edge again, because every, like, if you just hug edges like this, the enemies, like, even if they're ahead of you, what ends up happening is, like, you'll outrun them and they'll just, and they'll just trail you. So that's normally why, like, I'll be hugging edges of, like, streets, instead of just, like, running in the middle where you could just get flanked by stuff. And then she hears the railroad tracks. And there's a spooky person across the tracks, which is pretty epic. I'm gonna take that token because I want that. I actually need that. I actually don't have as many tokens as I really should, but that's fine. I'm gonna quick save there because I need to warp back here later. So the character sees it's like wooden bridges broken and there's nothing really around to help you out so we have to keep looking further in to figure out a way to cross the bridge. So what we're gonna do is just go this way. Like, you could get stuck on that corner really easily, and I, and I got stuck, but that's fine. I didn't die, which is the important part, because you... What? Not bad, not bad. And then here you just want to duck warp out, so that's fine. As long as you don't die, unless it's on purpose, like you're doing fine in this game, honestly. Go to the bridge, use the plank, and then just cross. And the character here picks up like a locket, and then she like finds this note on the ground, and she picks that up. But the note's like kind of creepy, and like says some really. I forget exactly what it says. I think it basically is saying like kill, 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 like over and over. I forget exactly what it says in English. by this ghost. What you want to do is basically just like stare at her because like normally she can <laughs> she can like teleport like in front of the direction you're facing which is really bad because like if if, she, if you're like running away from her and she teleports in front of you it's really hard to dodge like any of her attacks. So normally like you want to run a bit and then just face her like when she's about to get to you. Which is exactly what happened there. Do I have any tokens? No. Okay. I just have to not die, really. If I died, I would actually kind of stink. I would lose a lot of time, but we'll see how it goes. been really nice and not doing the bad attack but like she has an aoe attack she could do which is that one and like if you're just like if within those spikes like you just die so you don't want to see that like if you could help it because it could be like really hard to dodge sometimes but we're good like this chapter is basically done at this point 
I just run down these stairs. You get the choice there to like um, run ahead or run down the stairs, and if you run ahead, you're just dead. I'm pretty sure. So you want to run down here, and what you find is the corpse of the ghost that's been chasing you. But you have the locket that you found earlier, so you just give it the locket, and then the ghost like basically leaves you alone. I think that low the character runs off for a bit, but she actually comes back with a flower, I think, and it just kind of mourns this person. So that's like pretty epic, honestly. Oh no, she actually has a, she just picks one of the flowers from the side. That's all good. Yeah, it's a really long cutscene. I think it's like the one. I think it's the longest in the game. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like the longest cutscene in the game. So in this chapter, like the the main character is like getting kind of tired. So he's like, I'm gonna go search downtown because I'm running out of places to search. So what we're going to actually, I need to go this way first because I do need a token for a shrine, and you could always get one here at the start of each chapter. So I do want that. What? The entire game running, you never that. Yeah, th there's no weapons or anything like that. There, there is a boss at the end, but it, it's not. There's no. You'll see. Like, there's no weapons or anything like that. Kind of. Yeah. 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 I won't spoil it, but. Yeah. Dude, I love cats. Yeah, like like right before the, the the train came, like you heard the dog again. So might be onto something here, TBH. Oh, there it is. Not bad. So I want to just hug this edge again. There's no enemies yet, but the the path I want to go is down this like edge anyway. So just keep walking here. And I do want to set off this shrine because I will need it later. Not in this chapter, but I will need it. I love jump scares, I love bad design, it just instantly kills you for no reason. Like that that thing will just one shot you if it hits you, which is epic. Oh hey Cyber, how's it going? For now it's working. I'm hoping it stays that way. This is basically an auto scroller, so I'll just kind of like wait here for a bit. Go ahead. Yeah, it's epic. It's supposed to be. I think it's just epic, but it's supposed to be. Yeah, especially if you're a small child. You don't use that time because it's just a fake one that falls apart if you try to use it. No, it's not right. Okay. So 
this chapter has enemies that are sensitive to light and they freaking stink. Like you can see this one here is kinda of just like chasing the like street light or like uh light pole. So if they get aggro they'll just like chase you forever and just like instantly kill you. So what I wanna do I just kinda wanna flash it to see There's another enemy like mixed in with that one, so I was kind of trying to see where it was. I just got lucky and it didn't get me. chase you, so like, I kind of need to know where it is to actually go in there. And I'm just kind of messing up right now, which is not good. I need to get in here because there's matches that you need to, like, you need the matches to finish this level. So, I'm trying to just get in this area. And there's an enemy, there should be an enemy, like, there he is. Like, he's, like, right... Yeah, okay, perfect. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's fine. Even if I die at this point, that's fine. Because I have the I have the matches at this point, which is really all I needed. That's fine. You don't really want that to happen, but that's honestly fine. There's that enemy that can kill you, which is what I was looking for. One token? Okay, that doesn't work. See, what you need is you need a torch on the match. either of those shrines because they're both fake shrines that would just like break. I am going to use just in case I die. I think I don't have to go back as far. They make that encounter look really scary, but honestly, as long as you just keep running, it's fine. Like, they won't reach you. You wanna go to where the dogs are at, at a dog. And... What you find over here is... The body of your dog from the beginning of the game. Oh shit. So basically you just like mash Z and your character like tries to revive the dog but it's clearly just too late. Rip at a dog.
<laughs> there is none. This game's just epic. This game's just epic, honestly. This cut takes actually really long, too. So, it just kind of has to play out. So she basically makes like a makeshift grave for the doggy, and then like, you know, like, leave and all that good stuff. And at this point you just have to do a little bit more running and, and like this chapter is over. No, oh, there's a train though, not bad. But somehow you're just fine for no reason. I don't know why. Either way, it's like epic, but I don't know. And then there's like some item in front of you, and it's actually the uh, the dog's collar is what you pick up. And she just like I think she just like cries again, and then the chapter ends. Yeah. I'll save again just in case the game crashes. Uh, so this is another chapter downtown. This one's actually like pretty quick, um, especially if you just warp too. What? Yeah, yeah I, I think it's like nice. I think okay. I want to get another token just to be safe. You don't need one for this chapter, but it's some of the like it's pretty. It's like kind of easy to die, so. I want it just to be safe. So, no, warp. Um. Now I'm gonna save here, just in case I die, I'll just warp back there instead of all the way up there. Which takes a long time to recover. some items on the ground, just you don't pick them up because they're like worthless junk that you don't really need to finish the game. And there's another like jump scare thing coming up to avoid. Yeah, okay, so now we're good. Um, you just like run around the block into this like kind of like min like mall structure I guess, so it's kind of like a mini mall kind of thing. And like there's these like spirits just like I think they're like um like they, there's these like ceremonial salts laid out or something. And like these spirits are just like standing there for no reason. And what happens is when the salt they can like it, it, it's basically like this kind of um like spiritual shield that's blocking like all these like evil spirits from coming in, so you kinda have to run to not get killed. And you hear this weird telephone too. So you want to run down here, and you just want to pick up the phone. And you're taken into this, this weird, like, meta, uh, like, alternate, like, meta universe kind of thing. And this giant, like, tendency is trying to, like, chase you and kill you for no reason. It's like really easy to get lost, like you're playing this casually, but really all you have to do, like there's like different ways you can do this, but you just want to like walk straight up and not get screwed by these enemies, which are not. Okay, I got lucky there, so that's pretty good. It's like really easy for them to just like kind of like uh, crowd up that hallway and like block you from exiting, but that works really nicely. And the centipede basically traps you at this like shrine, and the characters basically just like they. I think they did say like, "Please don't eat me," and then like the centipede kind of 
backs off and leaves you these salts that were stolen and like basically wants you to put them back where they were. So what I'm gonna do first is go up here and go down here and get, it's like a uh, door key which we'll use pretty soon. You don't want to pick up that phone because you, you can but it, like you have to head this way anyway and there's a phone over here anyway so you might as well just have to be careful because there might be no I'm good that's the other key I'm gonna just pick up this token too because I want it later so you just pick up this phone and you go back to the normal world where you have to put the salts back what's really important is you have to hug like down here when you enter because there's an enemy like up off screen that you can't see that will like actually aggro you and just like instantly kill. like you can't outrun it so it'll just like chase you and kill you if you like aggro on accident it's really good design honestly so that's the first one and the second one you just like run down here and you place that and now i have did i do this one Wait, you shouldn't be... Oh, no, 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 you, you, you place that one, right, and you go back up. You go back up and you place... The third one, I think, down, yeah, down here. And then you open these doors to get through. And you need the keys because otherwise... Like, the enemies just will block you and not let you get to the last one. So that's why you need to get the keys. I want that token. And that's basically like the hard part of this chapter. Like, that's basically it. So all you really do is just backtrack to the shrine when the chapter's done. And, and it actually like leaves you like I think like some salts you could use. I don't even remember what you actually like what they actually do, but I never use them in the run anyway. I'll just save again. So we're getting pretty close to the end. Um, at this chapter, like I don't think like there's a clear goal like the character themselves have. They just kind of like walk out of your house and get like, immediately. Like you'll see, like, like, walk out of your house and then. I just get like owned by this like fucking like this rolling ball thing. And when you wake up you're in this weird like dark area. And you actually need to like check the thing I think it's I didn't just like create I'm in the middle of this like factory area. So she's just kinda like kinda look around and try to figure out what's going on, like where the heck they are. And the fact is kind of like barred off so you get out. So what you have to do is basically just figure a way to get out. That's really all you have to do. Uh, those spawns are really bad. So the first thing you have to do is go up this way. And it's really easy to get lost and like go to like side areas that aren't really what you're supposed to be doing but if you know where you're going it's like really you want to head up this thing basically i don't think you need that i don't know why i picked that up uh, just want to head over here and head onto this pipe and this thing is trying to chase you basically and it kind of destroys the pipe so you can't go back but that's fine because there's not really anything there you need. I'm heading this way because there's a key that you need to get, and it's over in this direction. And it's also really annoying to get, and it's really easy to die trying to get it. So, if I'm. Thanks. If I'm lucky, I just get it first try. 
basically this thing like it'll charge at you and then stop but it, its speed will just like vastly like out match you so that's bad that's really bad actually no it ran away okay i think i'm good i think i'm good no i'm not no i'm not i that up. i forgot about that thing that was almost salvageable normally what you want there like you bait it into running off screen and then like you could just like run down there and get the key without really worrying about anything but if you do it wrong it, it actually doesn't run off screen it will just still try to chase you and then like you're kind of bones because you're in like this really narrow alleyway and it like will easily just like catch up to you so you want to go up here The run the, of the run out, this is mostly like smooth. It's just like this is like honestly really annoying to do right. That's actually good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. So now I have the key. That did not go at all how it should have, but that's fine. So now with the key, I just want to go this way instead. And there's like one more annoying part coming up, but like after you get through that, like this is like kind of easy. So like you get into this other area that's also really big and also has a lot of useless side areas that you're not supposed to do anything with. You just want to like walk all the way down and then over here. And this part is really annoying. There's a bunch of enemies here that you just don't want to get owned by. dodge it but it's like really precise and difficult to do correctly so i'm just gonna like let it kill me then i just warp right here and then that thing doesn't respawn and you just walk through This door is what you need the key for. If you come all the way without the key, you, you basically have to go all the way back because you won't be able to get through, which is really good design. <laughs> like the level design in this game is honestly like kind of bad, but you know. And 
and there's an enemy here. Like these guys basically chase you if like they if you don't have the flashlight focused on them, which is why I'm like focusing on them and then running away. And the game actually sets like its own checkpoint like, right outside the door, which is why I just let him kill me because I'll go right out here and then there's this chase sequence which is annoying and I don't like consistently <laughs> do it right. Like sometimes I'll be fine and other times like he will just like kill me, but that time it went perfectly. And then, like, that's what I'm doing, so. This run's like almost done. There's only one more chapter left after this. But yeah, that factory went like really badly. Um, if it wasn't for the deaths like getting the key, that would have been like actually okay. But it happens. So I think, yeah, this is a cutscene, but she goes looking, and I think she sees, like, the sister's other shoe or something in the crate. It's something like that. I love jump scares. Yeah, she finds the other shoe, I think. It's something like that. It's like something else that belongs to the sister. I forget exactly what it is. And then, like, and then, and then you just... Oh no, sorry, it's not the shoe. She she ends up finding the uh, the key to the gate that was locking you out at the start. That's what it was. She finds the key to the gate, and then she just opens the gate and leaves. Probably, yeah, honestly, probably. I think like, this shit's epic. Okay, so this is almost done. Run the last chapter, which is basically. It, you start and this like creepy like ghost thing comes into your house and tries to harass you, which is not nice at all. I know. And I think like it, it it leaves some item, which I think is basically like a note that says like go to the sh like this shrine in the north, but you actually don't need it to like trigger anything, so you just leave the house. And then what you want to do is walk outside. How many tokens do I have? Uh. I'll take- I don't need it, I'll just take it anyway, but I don't think I need it. I'll just take it though. So what you want to do is you want to go to the shrine by your house. Don't pay, but warp up here. And then I'll just- I don't need that quick step, I don't think anything here will actually kill you, but... This is not the right way to go. I don't know why I'm going this way. I don't think this is the right way to go. Oh no, you can, but it, it, like there's a shortcut that look, makes that easier. This is still the right way to go. Um, so what ends up happening is you actually end up heading back to the bridge from the start of the game where the dog was killed, which is like honestly pretty based. And like the hands are kind of guiding you on the direction to go. So you just like walk this way. That, that, and that was the little like um, field where the sister was at the start and where they disappeared. I just want to keep walking. There's a shrine there you can use, but you, there's no there's no real purpose because like the shrine that act. The shrine that actually matters is coming up like pretty soon and like the fights coming up like aren't really threatening. This is the bridge where the dog was hit. And I think the rock like yeah, the rock actually like falls out from the bridge as you walk by it. Just like the same one you picked up at the start, which is like really epic. And the hands like kinda of start running off. We're back at the tunnel from the beginning of the game, and you actually enter the tunnel. And there's this weird, like, kind of pagoda looking thing, so you just want to tap that. And it emits this, like, kind of, like, light circle, which basically, if like any like enemies enter that circle, well most enemies, if most enemies enter that circle, they just kind of like get disintegrated. It's trying to hit the shrine because it does not like it. Then there's like this like weird 
you like camp thing comes out of nowhere and they are not happy they just like kind of start fighting and it's really up like honestly the hand like wants to kill you but the other thing wants to kill you so they just start fighting over who gets to kill you it's really epic so while they're fighting you just kind of run away the tunnel. and then when you get out there's this big field here you can use that shrine but there's no reason to um, you just like want to keep running up in the field. Okay. And like some cutscene just plays as you approach the shrine. Like, like I don't know. I just like some cutscene to just like show off the shrine. I don't know. That token, and I want to do save there just because. Like normally, you won't die like in the shrine, but there's there's a couple like enemy placements that can be kind of obnoxious and really easy to mess up if you're not too careful. But, I, but the, the enemies that are important that can kill you are always like placed in the same spot, so they are like you, like you can consistently like get through without really taking any damage. is really obnoxious and if you like mess it up and die you have to go back like quite a ways so I'm gonna try to not have that happen. The bad thing with those hands is like if they they'll try to lunge at you when they see you and it's really easy for them to get stuck on the like shrine to go this. If they get stuck, you're kind of screwed, honestly. Like, you, like it's. I don't think you can move them out, or at least you can't move them out easily. Like, I'm kind of baiting him out because if you make the mistake of just like walking up this way, it, it tries to charge and gets like stuck on the left side of the pagoda, and you and you just like get owned because when you try to go through the pagoda, it'll just like get unstuck and kill you. So you just have to know to like bait it out of there. the last like difficult one. Like I think at this point it's just the final boss, I wanna say. Yeah, at this point it's the final boss. So time's not yet, but it'll be coming up like kinda soon. go to the shrine and you see that your sister is on top of the shrine somehow and it's because like these like evil spirits basically kidnapped her and brought her there to be like a sacrifice or something like that. I'm just making up, I have no idea. That's really bad. Like that hand will like try to beat you down there and like sit on the side. Basically, you just have to run around in the circle and like always be six times, and that's it. Um, you might 
sometimes the hands will like try to chase you and that's nice because you can just like eat it yet but it'll be very soon. Okay that's epic. That's basically the final boss and at this point it's like with Japanese timing it ends with the last input you do so there's like just a little more like dialogue and then it would be time. She basically just like reviving your sister and that's that's about it. like that thing wasn't killed and still kind of wants to own you honestly so I'm sure nothing will go wrong you just kind of like are walking on the tunnel the sister's unconscious and you're walking out but like there's this kind of weird like fog coming from the side and your eye basically gets like blown the heck out it's gonna be time like in a couple seconds Yeah, not bad. That's like fine for a marathon time. I could use like 49, like 56 is, that's fine for a marathon. Like that. <laughs> Feel free to run this and send it to me on um, speedrun.com. Uh, also, if you actually like this game, there's like a sequel coming out. I think like this month. I'm pretty sure. I don't know when, but I know. I know it's. No, like I see a Steam page for it. Like, the, like there's a Steam page for the sequel coming out like this month. So yeah, if you like this game, that's coming out pretty soon. I think. <laughs> 